everybody and welcome back my name is sue and i'm from oml embroidery and over at the computer is dawn hello hello so today we're going to be doing this block so i called this this grouping the series stars and squares so this block we've got nine this block we've got four and this block is the star. So, but before we get started, I wanted to give you guys the tip of the week. We think, I think we have figured out what the squeak is on my machine and you'll be quite surprised. I pulled out my hoop. This is my eight by eight hoop that I use all the time. And I found this on the back. Now, part of it was still stuck down. I took the whole thing off, off, obviously. But you can see right here, you can zoom in on that. Yep. Right here is where it was up. So this was here, and it's just like a piece of sticky plastic. This was here, and this part was like this. So I felt this, and I was like, what the heck? So this has been getting stuck and causing friction and issues, I'm guessing. So I pulled the whole thing off. I'll have to put something there because this is quite sharp. There's a little ledge edge there sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of sharp. So for today, I'm gonna to be using my dime hoop, which is probably better, but just Give your hoops uh, just a quick look over and see and make sure everything on the bottom because, yeah, it doesn't, it's not going to slide properly. We don't quite often check the bottom, do we? I, I don't think I ever have. I don't think I have either. So, yeah. Oh, going to check my hoops after this is over. Yeah, good idea. I mean, I never thought that the hoop was causing friction on the machine. So, yeah, so no more squeaky squeak. Yeah, we didn't take it in because we were pretty sure it wasn't the actual machine, like there was something causing it, and it just sometimes take, um, oh, Linda says, I need to know how you resolve this. I have two hoops that have the same problem. Probably what I'm going to do is put um, maybe a little piece of, thin piece of, sticky felt sticky on one side yeah on the other because it's really thin working. obviously i am not going to be able to get it you know totally in there but just to cover up the scratchy bits because that's terrible so i wanted to show you i was putting googly eyes on <laughs> stuff and i dropped one and it landed here and i really like it i really like it <laughs> Is that cute? It is cute. So I pushed it in and I went, yeah, okay. So I don't know um, how long it'll last, but it's cute. So everyone's asking about the upgrade. Good Lord, I haven't heard anything. I'm starting to get impatient. So um, I'm having a Sue squared moment. Sue, can you say hi to my Susie? Hello, Misha, Susie. Hello. Nice name, by the way. No, um, my parents called me Susie, but I don't think anyone else did. I was not a Susie. Definitely. I'm I, I just a Sue. Definitely not a Susan. So, yeah, Sue squared moment. Awesome. I hope you enjoy watching with Misha. She's awesome. And this will be fun. So, yeah. Snow, snow, snow. I ordered the 10 by 10 magnetic uh, hoop. My dealer said they've been trickling in. Yeah, you know how much that costs in Canada? I think it's like $900, wasn't it, for the 10 yeah, by 10 hoop? Yeah. Uh, I would love it, but not at that price point. Um, it's not that nice. So, yeah, still waiting for the upgrade. I will be doing a, oh my God, it's finally here video when I get it. Lorelai says, uh, Susie Q. Pretty sure people called me that. Probably my parents, but anyways. So, all right, let's move my scissors. So this is what we're doing. Now, This, these designs are really cute. So I just did them in rows, but I really like them this way. 
So, but you can mix and match. I put up some quilt ideas, um, the whole bit, um, different colors, different things. Now we're going to be doing different colors. It's not just for Christmas. Uh, it just happened to be that I had beautiful Christmas fabric and I have mitered corners on my sashing. Please note, you can't really see them, which is good because they're not perfect. And for all of the quilting, isn't this fantastic? I love it. All of the quilting, I used a little bit of blingy gold, and I only used two colors of thread. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Spools of thread. Yeah, these designs, they're all freehand drawn. I'm trying to mimic um, someone who's really good at freehand quilting. So it kind of makes a difference. It's completely original sort of thing. But I like these, whatever these are, just quilting. And I like all these. Yeah, looks like a spool. So that's what we're going to be working on today. And you guys have a decision to make. What colorway do you guys want? Now I know what Lynn's going to say. <laughs> so... I picked out two. This is uh, actually from the same um, layer cake. Uh, pink, light pink background. I really like these pink flowers for the points of the star and this for the center. It's not fussy cut, but you don't have to have fussy cut. And this one is turquoise, so this would be the background. And this would probably be the... the star points because it's all applique and then this one the center or vice versa doesn't matter I just thought this and this would look nice I could also do pink in the middle if I wanted to which would bring it all together so what's everyone saying I like the blue but the bright pink from the other stack instead of green yeah that's what I was thinking yeah like this to bring out the flower or this one to bring out the flower. I think that would be cool. I love this fabric. I don't know why. So what do you think, Don? Pink, 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 pink. Mix it up, Jackie Cheek says. I like how you think, Jackie. Mm, yeah. I do like how yeah. you think. So that's possible. So why don't we do this then? So we'll do this background or maybe you know what now that background just hold up this for the points of the star and maybe roses for the middle yep that's bringing it together sort of thing mm -hmm. what do you think mix it up yeah i like that yeah, because there's only three places. So, um, the pink with the big dots looks better with the blue than the other pinks. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Blue, black, round, and the other florals. I know, I know. It is a compromise. We've mixed it up. This will brighten it up, but this kind of flows. I, I like, that. like I said, I love this. Um, the pink is, is the light pink right here. It all matches because it's one thing. So, okay, we will put this aside for another day. And this is what we're going to do. So, roses, you know, the whole bit. So, this is the perfect thing. Yep, I love that combo, Lynn says. It's pink enough for you. All right, <laughs> let's, let's talk thread before we switch over. So, that's bright because we need to do the outline of the stars. Oh, but I have a great idea. Now that we're mixing the two. The one he says, blue star points and pink center. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what I was thinking right there, because it'll stand out. I don't want this pink though. Uh, I want kind of like that maybe. Maybe like that. Lady Fair says neon. Neon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have it hidden away from Lynn. <laughs> so, star points in turquoise. And there is pink for the middle square. 
and then what color are we going to do for the quilting? Let's do the hot pink for the quilting then, because it'll stand out on everything. Yeah. Or we could do this deep purpley pink. Um, 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 um. So many options, right? I know. Uh, this is the fun part for me anyways. This is the fun part is figuring it out. So this is kind of a salmon-y color. It's not necessarily pink, but this is pink inside. So that's good. So, hmm, what is everyone saying? White? Hot pink. Woot woot. No. <laughs> no, no. That sounds great with the pink uh, quilting. <laughs> you guys are so funny. It's so <laughs> awesome. But you know what? We're all learning how to do this. How, you know, work with what you've got sort of thing. That is probably too orange. So if you don't pick out your threads like this, you should. Because what it looks like on the spool and what you're actually going to stitch is two different things. Did you pull that second pink from the left that we wrote down? Yeah. No, the, the, that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's light. Yeah. I think it's too light okay. for anything. Although it might go well in the middle. Okay, well, we got some colors there. We'll play with it as we go. Green. Ooh. What about a lighter? Sh oh, because there's green in here. Oh, green. Oh, I think I like that idea. That is for the quilting because yeah. we can bring out the green here and it's all flowers. Mm -hmm. So it would make sense, right? So I think it has to be like a darker green. I have the perfect. Oh, the on the no, no. It's on my machine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's it. That's it. That okay, green. I like the idea of green, and I think this one for the middle. And the turquoise, I could do blue as well, but there we go. All right, let's go to the machine, Dawn. You ready? See, that was fun. Da, da, da. Wasn't that fun? I enjoyed that. Or is it up? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the green that I was thinking about is actually in my machine, uh, not on purpose. Okay, the little squeak there, but I noticed there were some gummy marks right here. It might take a few minutes to work itself out, because it's... I mostly use the 8x8 hoop, so... Let's hope. I uh, wiped everything down, but there was a lot of sticky marks on it where it was getting stuck. And you don't want that. No squeaky that time. Nice! Perfect. What size will this be? Well, it's in the 8x8 eight eight hoop. It is actually a little bit smaller than that because the 8x8, eight eight, that's, you know, they just rounded up the sewing field. It's 7.8 is the actual size of it. But that's what you need to, to fit in the hoop. Sounds a bit thumpy, doesn't it? I'm just listening if I stop talking. I'm just listening very carefully because I want to hear if there's anything going on with my machine. A little bit there. Just want to know. It might take a little bit to work itself out again, but it's no big deal. That sounded a bit loud, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. All right. First thing we do, squeak, squeak is go back to the desk done so. so we can trim this green green batting with my tulip pink whale scissors is it a whale what is it scissor monster whale actually kind of looks like a turtle head Tur you're a turtle head <laughs> that's kind of fun Sometimes. oh see my scissors got caught and i pulled it out but oh, well, that's okay magnetic hoop Oh, yeah. 
I forget. That's a problem. Yeah, it's it's not a problem. It well, just you have to, something to be aware of. pay attention to. Um, I'm going to start using this hoop, though. I want to look before, before I finish and see what's on the back of this one. I think it's very smooth, <laughs> so you don't have those issues. What are you laughing Misha at? Misha says, all I can think of is nom, nom, nom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, it's eating. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious, but I wasn't sure if it was my lack of sleep slash caffeine or if it was actually funny. And it looks like a turtle, and somebody said it, Cindy says it looks like fish. Fish, yeah, maybe. Look, the, it has these soft guides on the back so yeah. it glides. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll put our... our Flowers, what is this? It's not flowers. Um, back to the machine. What is it? Dandelions. Yes. Seeded dandelions, which is kind of cute. I like it. So now um, we are just going to stitch that down. See, this is why I like using the layer cakes, because it just, it just fits nicely. Yeah, it's kind of nice. This is a really groovy layer cake. It had this in turquoise, yellow, pink, hot pink, like a whole bunch of them. Um, and it looks really good. So what do we think of that green? I think that is pretty groovy. I think it's the right green to pull out of that other one for sure. Yeah, I think so too. So we're going to start with the middle square. What? Pac-Man, yes, yeah, that could be. Now I just want to make sure, because I had been taking it off. No, that's pretty steady. So, placement. I'm going to do the center square first. There's not really fussy. I don't know why it's so thumping. It's a bit louder than it should be. Hmm. Doesn't sound quite right, but maybe it's adjusting. So I can't really fussy cut it. So I'm just going to lay it down. Try to get maximum roses in there. It's not really a fussy cuttable kind of thing. And there should be plenty. Plenty enough of roses. So center square. Perfect for fussy cutting depending on the fabric. You could use like uh, Santa Claus and ornaments and stuff like that. I think it would look really good. Um, that green matches pretty well because yeah. this is the green we're trying to pull out. So yeah, green. Good show. Pink, pink, and green. So before we can do the next step, we need to trim this out. Trim it out. Trim it out. So I got three in there. That's nice enough. It's good enough. What I did on my other one, my Christmassy one, I kept the same fussy cut throughout all of them, except for one. I changed it. So, and by the way, this is my design. It's an old traditional, um, quilt block it's some kind of a star it's not ohio star but it's some kind of a star i can't remember the name of it um and it's a lot of work to piece it together so quite happy quite happy to be doing it in here mm -hmm. that looks really good good placement yeah i like it all right now for the flowers back to the machine and yes uh, i think it's probably the needle so should I change it before I start? Sure. Um, my guess is yes, it's the needle. So let's just change it because, you know, even though I'm live, I'm not going to I'm not going to run my machine making noise that I don't like if I don't have to. So, yes, and I'm going to put Mr. Foot down. This, hmm, I just changed it a little bit ago. But who knows, right? 
there we go. 7511 needle and it's from Dime. And if you put your foot down, it makes it a whole lot easier to do. You don't have to struggle. So I'm going to hand tighten and I've got it up as high as it can go. And then I'm just going to tighten it a little bit. Maybe. Can't see. There, huh? Yeah, got it. So just a little bit. You don't want to go crazy on it. So let's see if that makes a difference. But you know what? It's probably my machine trying to get back to normal. Um, yeah, put the foot up. And let's thread it. And let's put the hoop in. And let's do the placement. Much better. Oh, yeah. Much better. Yep. Dull needle or, you know, whatever with the needle. Awesome. Awesome. So now we're going to do our pretty flowers. Just uh, kind of like hack cutting, hacking out my fabric. And I did a, a cheat on this that I think you guys would appreciate. Oh, do we like that? We like that. That's going to be gorgeous. So we're going to do the applique on the top and then on the bottom so you can trim two and two because they're not interfering. So it's kind of a cheat. And I'm leaving in the darker color, so first of all, so we can see how great it looks. And second of all, so uh, you guys can see it. Because it's no fun doing applique when you can't see it, right? Right. All right, so placement. Normally, I would change it to the same color that I'm going to do the satin stitches for. So you like my little cheat in there? So you only have to take it off twice to trim. Now you have to do these two before the other one starts because they interfere. So they're kind of corner to corner. Lorelai says when she changes her needle, she puts a piece of paper under the foot in case she, she drops it. That's a pretty good tip. That's pretty good. I hold that thing like Excalibur, man. <laughs> like there's no way. But yeah, I mean, if it happens to you... Did we do a nail check? Ooh, yes. It's new nail polish from OPI. And it's actually a navy blue. And if you look at it a certain way, you can see it. Um, and it's got a little bit of magnetic on it. So galaxy again. Back to the desk. So. See, I like that cheat. That suits me just fine. Mm -hmm. So, trimming out, machine sounding better. So yeah, when you hear noises like that, it was kind of, it sounded like it was getting stuck in the fabric. Uh, change your needle, do something, don't just, don't just sit and listen to it. I don't like my machine um, making noises at all. And that squeak has been driving me nuts. But like I said, <laughs> yeah. we knew it wasn't anything that needed to be fixed, per se. Like, that yeah. would damage the machine. We just had to figure out what it was. And this morning, I did. So, that's looking cute. Sorry, I was a bit low for that trimming. All right, back to the machine. And now I can do both of these and trim it last thing. And then we're going to watch the um, magic That's happen. I, like I think the color choices uh, worked out really well. I think that looks amazing. And I really like the soft kind of roses in the middle that it ties everything together it's kind of neat so there we go and because i'm doing one side then the other we can wait to trim 
I really yeah. like this pink in there. What fabric are you using? Do you know the name of that layer? No, it's it's one of those from Craftsy or Blueprint. Don't even know if you can get it. I was really sad when they suddenly went out of business. It was my it was my main place for fabric. Now, of course, Missouri Star taunts me on a daily basis. For sure. With all its good stuff. Well, I every time I do it I spend like two hundred bucks <laughs> US, right? It's worth it. I love having, you know, awesome choices. I really like this. The pink and the turquoise is going to really bring it out. So place it down. So applique, placement, put your fabric down, stitch the tack down, and trim it out. And then you're ready. And do use a lighter color. Like I said, I'm only using the darker one so you guys can really see the stitching on it. Otherwise, it would melt right in, which is a good idea, but not necessarily for video. All right, so we're going to do the quilting back to the desk, Don. So I'll make sure I put it high enough when I'm trimming. Um, this is very nice fabric. Uh, we're going to do the quilting stitches, which were a lot of fun to create. And yeah, I'm going to leave the green. Um, I used, in the Christmas one, I used gold metallic thread for all the quilting on each different block. So you get all three blocks, by the way. So you could make a quilt out of stars just the stars you could make a quilt out of just the nine square nine nine one uh, or the four i have to interrupt because i really like your sisters with the googly eye on it <laughs> ah, i know me too <laughs> nom 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 it, it, it just works perfectly i will be doing a um special not time lapse uh stop time of it nom yeah. nom 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 right stop motion stop motion that'll be fun all right back to the machine <laughs> the things we do it's cute so let's chat about this block while it's stitching out its green nice thing is i haven't changed the the thread oh yeah this is going to stand out really nicely I'm just kind of holding my breath here. Um, the fabrics are beautiful. The turquoise stands out really nice. And the thread is going to bring it all together. I like it. Square in a square. In a square. I love it. I had so much fun doing these quilting designs. It's awesome. If you're doing quilting, I would do pink. No, that's where the green came in. Just to, just to make the quilting stand out a little bit more. I mean, if you don't like the green on it, it, you know, I would stitch maybe a row at the beginning there and then just change your thread and go back and stitch over it. There's some people like subtle. I like yeah. it to stand out. Depending on what it, it is. It depends on what it is. I think this design, because it is simple, and I only use like one really busy fabric that it's just going to be comp complimentary and it is going to fade into the background because we're going to be paying attention to the um, colors, the thread colors. Now some people will only use white for quilting. That's old tradition. Just always white. Just no always what. white no matter what. Um, and that would still look fantastic. That's how they used to do it. Um, Karina says, oh, that quilting looks like an old spool of thread. Yeah, I didn't intend it to look like that, but it does. Uh, I was just doing a square and a square and a square from, I study every night. I don't know if you know that, Don, about the quilting stitches and, um, 
free motion and how to draw them. So a square and a square, you can put circles in squares, you can put triangles in squares. So I just started off with this one and I'm doing it in E4 with the pen. So I am literally just drawing them and I figure that's as close as we can get to free motion, free motion quilting. Because free motion quilting is not perfect, so yeah. I freaking all the details in this Oh, Tammy says, I love the traditional blocks. Can you do the flower basket for us? Yes, yes. Uh, because that one is, do you know what the flower basket is? My grandmother and great aunt made one and I've got it and I will happily show everyone. It's done by hand. Um, early 1900s, probably, and it's beautiful. Beautiful. So, yes, I like the old blocks, too, and I do like sewing. Um, I just finished my first Tula Pink quilt, and I'm super happy with it. But I think these look good as well. I think doing it on the embroidery machine is so much more fun. See, I like the green. I do like it. I do like it. I like it. All right. So we're going to take off the green. I'd love to see your tulip pink quilt. <laughs> I will take a picture of it because I'm kind of proud. When Don goes to work, I sit and sew upstairs so that the dogs specifically tank doesn't bark in the window all night it keeps them quite happy and i got a new desk that i love it's a kangaroo desk oh, it's, an awesome desk. it's awesome so i finally have enough room the kangaroo is it's the aussie, aussie. Two. yep aussie two it's called yeah. um expensive but worth every millisecond of it it, it's so incredible when it folds up to nothing. See, we are looking good. So the turquoise is going to brighten everything up a little bit. The green is from the green in the center square, which, like I mentioned, is great for fussy cutting. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Pink and turquoise. I mean, this is not white turquoise but it still goes this is a little bit darker it doesn't have to be perfect right everyone's like wow so um yes i will do the basket one because i can do it in my special way that looks like you um stitched it on a sewing machine but I will send a uh, post a picture of it. Uh, Lynn says, I will admit the turquoise looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. So always when you're picking colors, remember it's about the focal point, what, what we want to stand out, what we want to see. Now we want to, I want to see the background quilting. So that's why I used a darker thread. If you want the quilting to be there but fade away then try to pick something closer to the fabric so Lynn so funny <laughs> Rose hi Rose hi everyone I have to watch the replay play looks beautiful so okay head on over to omlembroidery.com front page front and center you can pick up all three of the blocks for a really good price and that's just the regular price just so everybody can get making traditional quilts um i love it i love it jackie cheek says looks great sue thank you all i have is a very old 1950s desk to sew on i hate my that my entire sewing room very small i have it in my bedroom it's messy yeah i have a whole floor and don has a whole floor that's not my floor. Um, and it gets messy. Sewing is messy. We had... Likes the scraps. Yes. <laughs> I throw 
Beagle, uh, Beetlejuice is our rescue Beagle Bloodhound, and he's quite the boy. We just love him. He loves being outside. He also loves to um, steal things. So I accidentally on purpose drop scraps of fabric and he'll find them and pilfer them and run laps around the backyard. He's just so happy. But let me tell you a little beagle story. You guys will like this. I left my sewing desk open which I don't normally do, but I did because I had stuff all over the place, right in the living room, and whatever. Um, Beetlejuice got his nose, his bloodhound nose, into stuff, and he found a spool of ribbon rope, Christmas ribbon rope, and he spread it all over the living room and took the cardboard downstairs into my office and ripped it up. And then we have a Roomba, and the Roomba automatically starts, and the Roomba, Roomba got stuck with all the rope. Yeah. Yeah. It was all tangled up. Yeah. And couldn't finish the work. So, yeah. Uh, awesome. We don't mind, though. He's just, he just wants to have fun. We don't mind. Um, Lynn brought over a whole bunch of socks and I showed her what he does with a new sock and she's like, oh yeah, worth it. The only problem is in this house, do not leave a sock on the floor. It's done. Yeah. It's done. It's in the backyard. Good yeah, time was had by me. all. Yep. So look how the turquoise is tying in the center square. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Great grandbear become. Woo! I love the vintage design. Just purchased this. Thank you. And the vintage Santa. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that one. Sorry. So excited about these um, traditional blocks. I, I just. I think it's, it's the way to go. It's nice to see the traditional updated to embroidery machine. Yeah, I don't think there's enough of that. No, and when they do it, I feel, anyways, because there are companies that have done it, I feel that they put too much embroidery. So yeah. then it's an embroidery design rather than the traditional it's design. Still a traditional quilt with just what it needs. Just what it needs. And I don't always do the satin but stitches. Maybe easier on the machine. Yep. Quicker. <laughs> and quicker and easier and i have my little tricks to either make it look like you pieced it like the swirly christmas swirly one that one's fantastic yeah oh yeah i like it i love it for detail i did the whole beard stand the beard on the i was awesome i was just kind of scared that people will say well it's not perfect but it's really not meant to be old traditional ones are because they were all done by hand yep pretty close. I sometimes mm -hmm. tidy up a few things, but oh, yeah. Nice. I'm hoping he had a puppy for my birthday. Oh, 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 that would be so nice. My pup likes to tear up boxes. It helps me open Amazon and FedEx <laughs> delivery. Awesome. We personally here have a Dash Hound inspector for every package that comes in. Dash Hounds are snoopy creatures and it has to go past the OD inspection before it can come too far in the house. Uh, mm -hmm. Groceries too, any bags. When Lynn comes over, he sticks his little weenie head in her uh, bag or purse, whatever she's carrying, and sniffs, and he likes it. He's quite the guy. Tank is just Tank. <laughs> tank is just Tank. I love the turquoise. So now the decision is going to be, we're going to do darker or medium or light pink. Huh. That's going to be a tough call. Because this darker one is more kind of orangey. I think I might do this one. What do you think? Yeah, 
Kind of like that, but darker. Mm -hmm. Just trying to figure it out here. So yeah, yeah hop on there. over, pick up three blocks. It's six ninety nine, which is basically two dollars a block, and that's what I am going to um, do for most of the blocks. Because what I want is people to enjoy stitching out. Uh, the old traditional blocks so you have that everyone well not everyone but a lot of people will have their great grandmothers or grandmothers quilts and you can do the same thing but do it in modern embroidery because let's face it nobody's going to hand sew pieces together and then hand quilt and hand bind it right but I'm going to work my way through a whole bunch of the blocks I want to do another grandmother's garden too with uh, not pathways, just the flowers. So grandmother's flowers, I guess. Thinking match the background and let the turquoise stand out. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Sometimes they get a treat. Uh, Sharon says, well, seeing you use darker threads, you should stay with darker, not lighter. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, have to run. Loving this block. Thanks for joining us, Lorelai. It's always appreciated, for sure. But yeah, that's that's my plan for these blocks. I have really been enjoying creating them, and enjoying the results. So I did a traditional Christmas one with this, which we'll, I'll show again at the end. But I wanted to do something absolutely completely different so people don't get stuck on it's a Christmas design. It can be. It can be. Yeah. This is 8 by 8 size, right? Yeah, I usually do the 8 by 8 size. And people ask, what size? 8 by 8. Because... It's big enough for you guys to see the details. And that's basically it. It's just a comfortable size for me. And I mean, it may take a bit longer. Oh yeah, by the way, this is 25 minutes to stitch this out. You do, you do all your quilt blocks in various sizes. For yeah, they come right? in various sizes, but for my testing purposes, I, do I I design in eight by eight, right. and then I have you know when I make the blocks, you can't just make the blocks. No, you gotta make adjustments. You gotta make a lot of adjustments, but I've got that pretty much down pat, so it's yeah. easy. And I do one bigger too, the ten by ten. But the other reason why I do the eight by eight is because of this. It makes it easy to use. You use layer to <laughs> use a layer cake. I used uh, a layer cake for my sample one as well. So, yeah. It's awesome. So, we've got two more parts and one color. So, we're going to have a decorative stitch go along really exactly beside. So, I do want to change colors for it. But I want it, I'm going to use the medium pink because I think it's, it's close enough. There you go. Someone placed an order. It pops up for me. Awesome. Thank you. Dawn enjoys um, seeing the traditional blocks as well. Hey, my grandparents made it yeah. together all the time. Yeah. Was, and it's cool. I've always enjoyed them. And I've seen all the traditional styles they did it was so it's neat to see them come back in embroidery form and easy embroidery form because i don't know if i would sit and do it the way they used to do it no that's Everything what they did though hand. yeah i know i wouldn't all right so i have the kind of middle of the road pink um i could use a bling you know I just want to see if it's going to show up enough because these 
It's just like a back stitch or a running back stitch. There you go. Right up beside it. Yeah. It shows. Okay. Yeah, it's a good color. Oh, it's beautiful, actually. Probably not, but we'll see it. Yeah, it's the the color I picked is the pink right here, this one. Which is also in the flower. So, it's a back stitch that's right precision done. On the edge, that's nice. Yeah, isn't that cute? Uh, it just kind of frames it off. Now, on the Christmas one, I did it in gold, which makes everything look more elegant. But, I mean, if you did, say a bright yellow if you had different fabric like a highly contrasting one i think it would look great too i can see this it just kind of kind of makes a shadow and makes the like the edge sharper which i love so yeah, high so contrast <sighs> yes it would overtake the whole block but it would show so the quilting looks really good in green, I think. You could do lighter green without getting into the lime green. We don't really want that. Um, but I like it stands out enough between the pink and the quilting. You can always do traditional whites. Doesn't matter. Pink, 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 pink. Lynn, pink, 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 pink. <laughs> A sampler quilt. Yeah. Well, that's I, I kind of had that in mind, to be honest with you, because I have put three different blocks in with this one and or two different this one and two different. They look good together, but you could make a sampler quilt out of that easily enough. See, that pink is just perfect. I could have put silver, maybe. Silver metallic. Yeah, I really like it. That pink, I like it. And this is just a little quilting in it. Coming in late, just got these. Woohoo! The other star block you have pictured in your samples. How do we get that one? That's this one. It was just in... Um, Christmas. Oh, I put up some digital quilt planning. I'm trying to encourage everyone to develop a quilt plan um, with different colorways so everybody doesn't get stuck on just what I'm showing Christmas. Well, I don't want a Christmas design. Yeah, so they can see what you look like. Yeah, I've got a program for that and it's kind of fun. So I did. Um, I did, there was sunflowers fussy cut for the centers and purple and yellow, of course. Um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I quilted one of my quilts with neon lime green. Awesome. What is a quilt plan? A quilt plan is something I put in the instructions and it gives you an idea of how you're going to set up your block so you can make sure that you have enough fabric and thread and everything before you start so i put a quilt plan of different ideas of what you can do like for this one i think i said something to the effect of you can do an all stars i mean that's totally traditional you can do um, just the stars in the middle, like a couple rows of stars, and have the nine square around it as like a border. That would look fantastic. Stuff like that. So plan out your quilt. What do you want to make? Do you want to make a wall hanging? Uh, at the 8x8 eight eight size, that's generally like um, three, six, nine, nine blocks but you can make it however you want table runner just add a couple more blocks make a table runner so plan out what you're doing make sure you have enough fabric I mean clearly if you're using a layer cake like this one 
um, you know, I pretty much know what I have. And it's not going to be enough to do much. But yes, I'm going to put all these blocks together. That's the other reason why I'm doing the 8x8. And just kind of do a sampler quilt. I love sampler quilts. They're yeah, beautiful. Yeah. That's an old tradition as well. Um, Karina needs a Twix. Dear Jane, quilt just came to mind. Have you seen the sampler quilt? I have checked it out and it is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look how great that pink looks. What? Karina says I'm too young to do quilts. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, me too. I am... Are you using a long arm quilting machine? Nope. Nope, that's not going to happen. I don't have enough space. I do now have a stitch regulator for McSteamy, um, which is my quilting sewing machine. It's basically a dream machine without the embroidery. So it does everything a dream machine yeah, does. A nice machine. Oh, it, yeah. We found out it's a very big machine because it was hard to find a desk that would... Wait a minute, it's 50, it's 33 pounds or something, or yeah, 35? Won't, won't, won't fit in your no, no, but it fits in this one. Monthly table runner would be great with these blocks. Absolutely, but you can pick a theme. So this is more of a spring, a bright, like a kid's bedroom theme. This is a very traditional block that you can use for any occasion. And you can really be creative with it. And other than the satin stitches, nobody is really going to say, oh, you cheated. <laughs> they're never, they're never going to say that. It's, um, looks like you did some fancy stitches and, you know, matched up all your colors. It's perfect. And we're just about done. So that was pretty easy. It's beginner friendly, uh, which I really like. Five appliques and a little bit of decorative stitches. Now, if for some reason you don't like these quilting stitches, just skip them. That's all you have to do. Just skip them. I really yeah, like how this. Yeah. I happen to really like the quilting, but... And... Happy music! Ready? Yup. Alright, back to the desk. So, now, let's look at this. I really like it. I really, really like it. The turquoise was a good call. Um... The green stands out, but not too much. This is the color I used, which matches this green almost perfectly. Um, you could do lighter. It doesn't even matter. Um, I think it looks really, really good. And let's look here. So the difference is this is this, my sample one where I did some more blocks, but... I used a little more bling, so I really like the quilting stitches in the bling. This stitch stands out a little bit more. Showing it on camera does not do it on ju in do it no, justice. It looks, looks yeah, in there's a there's a big difference in person. It's it stands out. You can see the quilting, but it's just little sparkles of quilting. So that would be the only change, color change I make would be to do this uh, fancy line in a different color that showed up more. So even white would show up better. It still looks good and I know it's there and I'm happy that it's there. But isn't that fun? So you can do easily do Christmas. This would look really great with a Santa. I didn't have the right fabric, but... A Santa that fills the fussy cutting um, but yeah plain and bling maybe the bling shows up better here so it's not just for Christmas you can do anything you want on it look at this part I wish you guys could see it because it is 
just so much better that the camera doesn't pick up the sparkle, but you can see the awesome quilting and the quilting on the four corners. I love it too. Mm -hmm. And when I sewed them together, I matched them all up. That's how much better at sewing I'm getting. Did you yeah. notice that, yeah, that yeah. they're yeah. matched up? I mean, these lines are obviously matched up, but yeah. these are matched up. So um, nice. I love it. I love it. So um, old school, traditional blocks made better made easier to do they're actually a lot of fun you can um you know come up with some different um combinations you mm -hmm. could take a layer cake or two depending on what you're doing and just randomly pick the fabrics and make each block and that would look really that would look cool awesome, yeah. that would that would be a lot of fun so yeah big difference between one and two both look good. I really like this one. So I'm going to add this into my um, pile. Mm -hmm. I have a pile of things I've stitched. Yeah. And I will, um, you know, pull it out. Sew it all together at the end. Whenever oh, the end is. Santa. What's that? Your vintage Santa. Oh, yeah. Sorry. This is the Mylar, by the way. Look. Vintage, vintage Santa. Santa and he's got rosy cheeks and the mylar I forgot I usually do this at the beginning that's also up on the website that's Don's den fun stuff mm -hmm. so yeah let me know um, what you guys think of this design stars and squares like I said there's three blocks and it's basically two dollars a block is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna try to do them in sets so it'll either be like the card trick one had um, different options for the quilting. So it had a solid block, it had a quilting block, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. It's really cool. So yeah. Santa's adorable. Yes. I like the the um, the Christmas one, but I do like the pink. I like them and both. The turquoise too. I, I like them. They're both very nice. Yeah, they are. And old. Everyone would recognize this um blocks so mm. anyways get stitching get it on omlembroidery.com there's a link in the description uh make your quilt plan it's easy there's not too much for you to do but the result looks amazing um and i can't wait to see what color combinations you guys come up with so thanks everyone for watching I hope you guys like this video. Please like this video and get sti stitching your old traditional blocks uh, that are made modern. And I'm going to keep going on this because I'm having fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, everyone. I, I do like the turquoise. <laughs>